Yo, what's up guys? My name is Blacky Bear and today we are paired up in Guild Wars version Legion. So Legion is basically uh, my old guild that I created and um, I passed it on to uh, Rickard and some other guys to take care of it when I joined uh, Opion. However, when we did that, we made some agreement that Opion and Legion are sister girls. Like they bound together and since Opion is right now full, you can still apply to Legion, get in there and when there's a spot free, you have a, a, a chance to get an opium if you uh, have the requirements. So basically that we can have more people within the community uh, with us. Opium and Legion does not have any other agreements besides having the same Discord server. Um, but in terms of Arena and all that, that's uh, everyone for himself. But if you're interested in joining, uh, Opium and you can and you get the answer. Sorry, we're full. We cannot accept you right now. Join Legion and then eventually get into Opium. So what we're gonna do today? We're just gonna have some fun and we're gonna find out if we can do some fun offensive against some of these of my friends and. Uh, I really, what I want to try to find is a team where I can use Master Teo. Uh, depends on how fast this guy is. Because what I want to try is getting him to work, but he is very slow right now with the current runes. So I want to see if I can figure something out. Let's do Succubus because that would be adding damage. This would also be adding damage. So this is like massive damage, and then we have to basically take the turn, right? So we have to somehow take the turn before him. And we could do that with Windwalker, I guess. If we do something like this. If we break, he will go. It depends on our bosses, but let's try this. This is going to be, uh, I hope... A spotlight on him, but I have a feeling that he might kill units with Eastern Wind and cannot do Hill. Well, Hill is actually the one that really does insane damage, but we'll see. Let's try this. I will do a spotlight on this guy, and this might be ending up in that spotlight as well. But oh, oh my god, Whew. almost misclicked. Okay, am I faster than him now? Not 100% sure. Not 100% sure. Is he gonna move? Who's gonna move? So if I think, okay, I moved before Veramos, but maybe not before him, so we'll kill that guy. And we actually get the slower guy, which is cool. There we go, slow. Get okay, one time. Actually, I want to do this, but it's this is just what I have to do. Um, okay, okay. Oh my god. And now we can do it again. Oh my god. Did you see that damage? Whoa, guys. I just calculated it, but this attack was only in the video one hit, and it actually hits five times. It was because of Scorn uh, that it did so much, but as you can see, it attacks five times at random. And the damage total is this amount. It's over half a million. It's crazy. So, quick overview of his runes. This is what he's running is as stats. And he has conflict, damage type runes, all damage, no speed. And these are the stats. Okay, back to the video. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you guys in the video how much damage that was as a slowdown. That was that was sick. Okay, um, I want to beat my body thunder if I can. So he has a nifty team because you cannot armor break it, right? 
but I do think it's relatively squishy. Um, but we have to kill Cleo first, so what can we do? Is Cleo... That's actually the main question. Is Cleo... No, Cleo is not on the kill passive, so what we could do is do this. Um, do you think you will move before him? Yes or no? Not yet. I don't think so. So we'll take my own Cleo. So we have a speed lead. And then what should we add into this? Either another attack gauge booster or something else. If I'm fast enough, Shaman would be good because I can... Yeah, let's try this. And just so the turn order is good when I rest. So if I do Shaman Curse and do Flame Spirit, everything dies. If they have immunity, that does not work, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, let's just go. Uh, I think I take the full turn before him, but he has immunity, so I cannot do my curse thingy. So we'll just do ball flying. And then we protect, I don't know, protect myself. No, that won't work. Okay. Okay, let's see how far we can kill them. Almost, but he gets a full red. <gasps> oh my god. If he kills my... No. Oh, he's with the soul guard. But actually, he needs to go first, man. Otherwise, this doesn't work the way you want. You have to change that. The This guy needs to rest, die first, so he has to be more here. Uh, yeah, I'll just kill him. Sucks that my... Do die, but it's okay. It's okay. He'll just die anyways. Oh, damn it. Have to wait for Ava. It's not the one. Come on. Just take the turn. Thank you. And uh, you're dead. So, Thunder, you have to change a bit. I have to wait till they hit me back. So, for now, we're going to pause the video and we'll come back later. Okay, we're back at it, and I told, uh, I asked if they could beat me, and I don't know if they read that, but they at least beat me, uh, so that's good. So this team on Miscat is like a speed team with, oh, actually with uh, Trampling Web, so that makes it, uh, if he can outspeed me, yeah, this is a perfect way, right? This is really well, if he cannot, it's not really great, but either way, I think... I can double shield guard in this. I just don't know if the spider queen might end up killing me. But let's try and let's see what happens. If I would make it even more safe, I should bring some kind of... Uh, I don't know, some kind of extra unit. But for now, let's just double shield guard and see where we're at. See if they kill themselves on me. The spider queen is the only risk... I have, but since he's gonna have two hits on me before he actually does his S1, I'm kinda okay. Look, now, now it's gonna be risky. There we go, first one down. He could one shot. Okay, he didn't one shot, he did one shot. That's why it's risky. If he doesn't one shot, but he does not, I think I'm good. And I did nothing, right? I didn't even move. Okay, if I move now, I would have lost. But I did not move. That's why I won. It's just reflect damage. So that's a bad thing about those defenses. Yeah, of course, you can easily overtake this, but it does not take many units. And you just wasted a good team on me, uh, basically. So let's see. We have this. It's a kind of setup. What is Cager running? This is not. Okay, I think we'll go with Miss Cat again. Because I think he put in a decent uh, defense. So this is a very tanky damage dealing defense. And I would need a heal block or something. In order to kill this. Um, although I do think I can have some fun with this. Um, if I can dispel. 
Oh, he doesn't run immunity, so he runs... Do I have my immunity guy? Yeah, I do, right? So what I thought is, let's run something stupid. And do we have an armor breaker? Mm -hmm. Don't know if we have an armor breaker. Don't think I have a great armor breaker. But then, we just run him. Uh, crit. And just go with attack, because I think most of them have enough. And we'll go with these type of skills. There we go. He is on the right set. Uh, oh. And the reason why I do this is because this guy has anti heal, which is nice against the runes he's gonna use on me. Uh, yeah, she's alright. Let's see. Oh, someone else attacked. That kind of sucks. I wanted to show that. Okay, too bad. Let's swap to, this is not a real team. We can do it here as well. Even better actually. Let's hope. Okay, then we don't even need um, those two arc mages really, because we only want them to move and heal. And I have to be protecting my own units, basically. Let's go with her. She's pretty fun, because she's blitz the damage. And uh, bring in do I need anything else? No, I don't think so. Okay, this is a risk date I'm gonna take. Uh, we'll use her to extend the buff of my unit catacombs death. Okay, it doesn't really matter. We'll just go with resist. So, the idea here is Garuda is gonna hopefully hit um, them with a heal um, block kind of skill. Okay, so we're gonna sit in our shield, be safe and all, let them move, whatever. Nothing's gonna happen. We're gonna extend the buffs, we're gonna share damage, which is not needed, I just realized. And now we put up that debuff. Okay, we didn't get them on everything, but now we're just gonna attack. <laughs> there we go, every heal now. It's just taking damage. It's great, right? I think this really good. Okay, so we go again. Um, doesn't really matter. Just do this. I don't actually know what that does. Go on. They need to get more heals. Ah, damn. Okay. Now the healing part is gone. Um, let's just buff and let's try and kill the actual healer because uh, the buff won't do anything. Slow you down. Um, oh, she's not on the heal pass of that makes a big difference though. Ah, she is. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Obviously not. It's from the freaking... <laughs> it's from him. Uh, yeah, let's go back in our shield. Sit nice and tight. Extend it. Except for the one that I wanted to, but that's okay. Buff even more. And enjoy the ride. Slow you. Kill. Almost. There we go. So that was fun. Just... Garuda is really good against healing teams because I need to have more hit on him, to be honest. Because that's what you want to use him for, right? Just to ignore their healing and just do damage with their healing. So I have two bases again, so for now we're going to wait till they are taken again and we're going to see what else we can do. Okay, um, they haven't really took my bases yet and I want to release my video. So I'm going to cut it off here. Maybe later tonight they still attack, but uh, they probably won't. Well, maybe when uh, everyone comes home from work, right? But I'm going to cut it off here and post a video so you guys can enjoy and watch it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.